Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Henry Weingarten. He is the Managing Director for the Astrologers Fund. How are you today, Henry? We're doing well, thank you very much. What did you just say? Repeat? Wait. We're doing very well, thank you. We are doing well. I thought you just said we're not doing well. No, 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 no. no. That happens occasionally, but not often. Okay, and of course, we're very sensitive to what Henry has to, to say, because of course, Henry, you have an amazing following. And uh, so let's just jump into it. I was listening to your one of your more recent uh, podcasts, and uh, you were mentioning a market sell-off, uh, impending marketing market sell-off. Let's start there. What 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 should we get? What should we get ready for, Henry? August. We think the markets are going down in the same way they went down in March. We had two predicted times. One was in the March period and one was in the August period. We had thought both would be 8 to 10 percent plus. The first one was correct in timing, but obviously the magnitude was greater uh, than we actually anticipated, although we did say plus. We're expecting the same thing now. There are at least six major technical indicators that saying August is the time to be very cautious in the marketplace, and of course the astrology as well, uh, especially even in the tech sector, which is going to be rotating. So the very favorite stocks, you know, we've been day shorting things like Apple uh, and Google and stuff. So they're going to come down. We're watching Tesla now. We hit it a few times and just letting go a little bit more in the next few days. We'll be hitting that. So the very favorite stocks are going to get hit. If they get hit, most things are going to get hit. Okay, and speaking of hits, um, I think you also called the presidential election. And yes. for those who haven't heard the news, let's give you a drum roll. Who wins this fall? Okay, in our view, it will be Trump again. And uh, we did predict Trump's victory 16 months, excuse me, 14 months in advance before. We think he's going to be a very big winner again. In fact, we've been uh, suspecting it may be a real blowout, almost like 1972. Okay, let's just jump to gold then. Gold market. What should we expect? Gold is going to have a stellar fall, uh, especially November, December, and October. This month, it's pivotal. We'd like to see it lower so we can buy more. We're obviously fully allocated. All the stocks have done very well. Uh, the next, But we don't know how they're going to react with the markets going down very heavily uh, this month. So we're ready to buy on a dip. Uh, but regardless, it will do extremely well in the fall and post-election. And silver, what should we anticipate, Henry? Uh, silver will do reasonably well, not as good as gold, because silver is also an economic metal. It's got two, three months that are good. Um, we think actually it belongs around 80 on the gold-silver ratio. We were playing it from 110 to about 75, got out of that. Uh, but because of the fact it's also economics, it's not going to do as well. Uh, whether it goes to 30 or 50, I can't tell you. We shorted it last time at 49 and change. I don't know if we'll get the same opportunity. And of course, our audience is dying to hear the translation of the presidential election, but I would like you to answer the next series for me first, please, if you will. Okay. Critical materials. Let's start with rare earths. What the heck is going on, Henry? Uh, I think over time they'll do well, but I think most investors are looking more in gold and silver at this point. And uranium, that's a critical material. Thoughts? Uh, no thoughts on that because I'm a classic SRI investor, which means I don't invest in it. Okay, so now tell us the impact of the presidential election, please, on our market. We are dying of curiosity. Okay, well, there are two parts to that. First, regardless of who wins, gold does very well. Regardless of who wins, entertainment does very well because whether the market's way up or down, people are entertainment. So if you had um, Biden winning, obviously marijuana will do better. And if you have Trump winning, energy is going to do better. Okay, so three more questions for you. Tesla, yes or no? You spoke really quickly. We want to know buy, sell, or hold, please. Uh, over the next few days, it would be a sell. It's a little bit, there's still the uh, people buying it, but 1650 probably is going to be the place to do it, but we're going to give it another day. And about how about electric vehicle technology? Yes, in the future. I personally would prefer lithium, but lithium is more 2021 and 22. So we're a little ahead of ourselves there. But if you're a long-term investor, yes. Okay. And then because of what we anticipate here in the markets, would you say investor go for fall? Would you say cash, bullion, stock market? 
Just a couple sweeping generalizations would be I would lovely. Say to be, I would say have yourself 100% protected this month. That could be having a higher cash than normal. That could be by writing calls. Um, that can be by being defensive. But be think about what happened in March and last May. It could happen again. As always, Henry, thank you so much. And if you will, we'd like to see you again next month. Thank you. Absolutely. Then we can see if I can tell you I told you so. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.